Dodge Durango 2013. We're going to tune up on it. First, we want to remove this cover here. Then, we're going to remove this piece here. Let's remove that. Take this uh, either an eight, 8 mil or flathead here and uh, take it there here. Alright, once we got the upper um, air box off, we're going to go ahead and take these coil packs off. You can go ahead and leave them connected though. Take those off, leave those connected, and um, we'll get the spark plugs out. So let's see how this thing looks. It looks, it's pretty worn out, you can tell. That's way, that's way wider than 40. That's kind of big. Let's see if I can zoom this thing in. Yeah, yeah this is the, the gap rating for the new spark plugs, which is like the gap between the tip of that spark plug inside of there and the tip and the top of that hook right here. It's supposed to be 0.40, right? With this gap and tool, according to this gap and tool right here, according to specs, you, this one here is at. Let's see, let's see. new spark plugs in. I'm about to go ahead and tighten these down here. I just took this out right here and unclip this here. Just pull this little red tab back and then you press on that and release this here and then this little gator clip here you release that. That's already released it back. Get this harness out of the way. Um, just disconnect this. I just disconnected this. Uh, this little blue clip was inside here. I removed that and then uh, you just press on the back I believe and oh, yeah, yeah you just press on the back little button on the back of this thing here and then it, it comes out and take this out get this out the way because this top plenum got to get off come off and um in order for us to get these uh these other coal packs on the side and um the spark plugs all right be cool right back with you now we got to get these 10 mils here is one here and then yep right there you see that 13 stud I might have to loosen this bracket up, just depends on how uh, tight it is to get this tuck clean and to slide over. There's one in there. Where's the other? Where's the 
others, where's the others? Four. Alright, this is like a different one. This is the 2013 and I noticed behind this harness here, behind this throttle body, there's a bracket right here with a 10 mil stud nut right there. And it's another one on the back side that we have to get to in order to use this thing here. Okay, we ran into a little issue here. Challenging issue. I had to go to this uh, car store and get some, uh, I had to go get these, pick up these. Because I want to get this, uh, this little 13 off here. And it's another one here, which was a challenge to get this little thing, this little guy off. It was on the back side of that bracket. So I used the... Uh, I kind of, I kind of got like a pick, and I um, this little special uh, snap-on pick, just kind of like pried and worked, worked it off, and screw, unscrewed it a little bit, got it off. Now I'm about to go ahead and uh, get that bracket off and get those, uh, get those two thirteens. All right, if you can look down, if you can see that, if you can see this guy right here. I had to use this pry bar and pull and pry this bracket here. Pry that bracket away from it. Now I'm gonna use my open box uh, 13 mil just to loosen it up to get that bracket away from this one. So we can finally get this thing off. Okay guys, we back. Wow, this is a challenge. Wow. Okay. Now you see what I'm just gonna straight. And as you see right here, see I got my my uh, 13 mil ratcheted wrench. I got I was able to slide it in between the end of the stud and that bracket, and I got it on there, and I loosened it up. See, I'm gonna leave that mug right there, right? I'm gonna leave it right there, so I gotta loosen up. See, now I'm about to just go ahead and pull this bracket back. Boop. See, there we go. Boop. Now we good. We should be we should be good and golden. See, the same thing in the front. I did that to the front too. I ain't even take it all the way off. See that bolt down there? At the bottom? Then you go all the way off. But, oh yeah, see? Yes, we good. Let's see if we can get that bitch lifted up and off. Now I know on the 13, 2013, I don't know if we got this bracket right here. Because uh, I had to, uh, I ended up taking that. I didn't, I didn't uh, see that in the previous videos to take this bolt off here. This little 10 mil here, and it's also a 10 mil in the back. But um, let me know if that uh, comes on the 2012 and the 2014 and up, because this is a 2013. And um, yeah, but coming along good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this lifted up and off real quick. Now I'm gonna take this connector off here. I want to. I want to get mine completely out. And um, so I can, you know, see it, see everything back there. There's a little push pin here, a little Christmas tree back here. Where's that? Right there, a little Christmas tree right there. And then you just pull this little red tab back. Uh, pull that little red tab back and press it down. And it's coming off. Yeah. So um, I got off at 6 a.m. I got here about what 6:20, and. Uh, yeah, I had to go to the store and get a few things, uh, a few tools I needed. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking a break. It's now. What time is it, back? It's about at least about eight. What time is it? Let's try not to get the third in there. We got it out. Boom. We got her out. Now we can uh, go ahead and change these right here. Oh, take this little heat shield cover thing off. Mm -hmm. That to the side. These little tins here. Take that off. Ladies connected. Boop. Get back to it. Alright, guys, we got the old spark plugs out. They were kind of bad. Yeah, they got the kind of big, man. That's kind of hard to zoom in, really, but yeah. This one's all wet. You can tell that's the one I was misfiring though. Man, this is just... Yeah, but we got the new Jones in. Top of the line iridiums. 
Yeah, I think I got them online. I think I paid like what? It was like six bucks a piece, but they like tw like ten bucks in the store though. But uh, yeah, got those in. Now we're gonna get this plant put back together. Get this heat shield put back on. Guys, all right, guys, real quick. This is the bracket right here. This is the bracket you gotta be have your eyeball out and your and your and your, your shield and your shore ready for. Cause if you're aware of it, you're gonna be ready for it right here. Cause this is a ten mil on this side with the stud sitting out of here, and then on the other side. What's up, son? And then, um, oh yeah, you got this hose here that goes into the you know, throttle body. And uh, what was that other one at? Oh yeah, these two here. As you can see, you can see it when it's out there. Those two there. But uh, yeah, make sure these these bottom screws are up and out of the way when you go step back one right there. How that's sticking out. You don't want that to get uh, go to put it back in so we're gonna get that in the right spot I might have to unscrew him out a little bit screw him out a little bit but make sure these guide pins just these guide pins here these guide pins gotta go in the correct place here and here make sure they go in the correct spot alright we get back to the end. Guys, the tightening sequence is okay. You got the one back here, by the, the that's the first one, one right here, right there. That's one. Then you come up here, two, and then across is three, and then this is four. Then across from that is five, and then up in the front is six, and then this is seven. That'll be the last one. Now we're gonna get this throttle body put on, get these hoses and stuff put on. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get back with you. Yeah. All right, she back together. She purring like a kitten, man. Wow. 